Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to write concise declarative functions with ES6. When defining functions within objects in ES6, we have to use the keyword function as follows. Person is equal to an object. This is an object. So the variable, con the constant variable of person is equal to an object with a key of name is equal to a string of Taylor. And then a, a key of say hello is equal to a function of hello, my name is, and then this dot my name, which means the object that we're in, this dot name is equal to Taylor. So if you were to run person, or if you were to say person dot say hello, there it's going to return, hello, my name is Taylor. With ES6, you can remove the function keyword and col colon along <clears throat> altogether when defining functions in objects. Here's an example of the syntax constant variable person and then say hello you can just oh cool so this the say hello will become the key automatically it's not required that you enter it in there same thing so refactor the function set gear inside the object bicycle to use the shorthand syntax described above set gear well interesting we want to go set gear new gear This dot gear is equal to new gear. Set gear three. This dot gear is equal to three. This would set. This would make it so that this sets the three. Yeah. Okay. This is actually working. So what's happening here? <clears throat> we declare a variable, a constant variable called bicycle. So this bicycle is an object, and inside the object we have a gear key with an integer of two as the value, and then we have a function where we set the key equal to the same number as the function, so set gear. So, um, and then the function takes a parameter of the new um, number of gears. And so inside of the function, we say this, which means the bicycle where we created, and we're setting the new gear to equal to three. And so here we say the bicycle, which, had a, which initially was set to, with a gear of two, we set the gear to three. So this function comes in and it changes the gear to three, you know. <clears throat> and then we, uh, and now once at, we're at the end of the function, we say this bicycle dot gear, and well now we've changed it from two to three. If we were to comment this out, this would be two, but we're now we're setting the gear to three. And if we run the tests, I see they pass. Okay, great. Hope this helped you guys and we'll see you in the next lesson.